Preceded by a shower of flares, German bombers rain fire and high explosive bombs in their most savage attack on London. Here again is the blood, the sweat and tears that Nazi warfare brings to the men, women and children of city, town and village. Here again are the same firefighters who face peril and danger with the same grim determination and courage. Amid the rain of bombs and falling masonry, they fight the hell of Hitler's making, while our cameramen record for all time their stupendous task. Blocked by blast like some foul giant's breath, and blistered by the intense heat, London's firemen carry on. Here are heroes in action. Thick smoke hangs over the heart of Britain as a choking dawn reveals the terrors of the night. London has been wounded during the hours of darkness, but what colossal strength runs in her veins? As hoses still play on the smouldering ruins, a fireman is heard to say, Blimey, he wasn't half cross with us last night. Let every honour be given to the rescue parties, nurses and doctors, who toil for hours among the wreckage, bringing help and easing the suffering of survivors. From out the bowels of devastation, they bring the injured to be ministered to by these gallant brothers and sisters of mercy. In spite of it all, London carries on. Lummy, you ought to hear her carrying on. In no uncertain voice, she echoes Mr. Churchill's words, we'll give it to them back. Yes, this time we take the gloves off. Hitler has called the tune, and we'll give it a name. Retaliation. Quoting an American newspaper, the indiscriminate orgy of destruction is not the weapon to defeat England. From the dust of London arises only new life and hotter defiance. Hardened and angry, Britain fights back. We've got an adapted slogan now. Can we take it? Sure we can take it, right back where it came from. Mm -hmm. 